We are at um, Microsoft Ignite the Tour in Sydney and I'm here with Mr. Troy Hunt. Um, and now we're going to talk about Cloudflare. And it's interesting because you told me a fact the other day that 10% of the mm. internet traffic goes through Cloudflare. But what is it? Does anyone know? So I, I just finished a talk where I was talking like equal parts about using Azure and serverless and things like that and, and Cloudflare. And I, and I asked the audience like who in the audience uses Cloudflare and 15% of the people put their hands up. Yeah. And it's like, no, nah, you're wrong. Everyone does. <laughs> and the reason why is that, that about 10% of the internet's traffic routes through Cloudflare. Yeah, now. it's impressive. So they have a, a massive slice of it. And, and one of the things that they, they get a lot of power from is that when you see that much traffic, you get to establish very sort of legitimate, honest requests and usage patterns from those that might be malicious. Mm -hmm. So by, by sort of seeing that sort of volume, they're getting very good at identifying good traffic from bad traffic and then protecting everyone from the bad stuff. Yeah. So stepping back one, you know, one, maybe two steps, like what is Cloudflare, how do I use it, and where does it come from, kind of? So in, in simple terms, Cloudflare is a reverse proxy. Yep. So the, the, the way that works is that if you say uh, you would like to use Cloudflare on your site, the, the mechanics of it are you, you go to Cloudflare, you say, hey, my website is, you know, troyhunt.com, mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to put it on Cloudflare. And they go, oh, this is like what your DNS records are. And you go, yeah, they're my DNS records. <laughs> and they go, okay, cool, go and go to your registrar and update your name servers to route through us. Yep. And what happens then, like after the DNS magic propagates, is that when you go to troyhunt.com, you're actually hitting one of, as of today, 165 edge nodes around the world. So where in Sydney, you would literally be going to the Sydney edge node, mm -hmm. and then they would either uh, block the request because you're evil, uh, or <laughs> hypothetically, or they would return the request from their local cache, because if your cache policy allows that, uh -huh. uh, they can give it to you from somewhere here, rather yep. than, in, in my case, going all the way to Amsterdam, where my blog's hosted. Yep. Uh, or, or alternatively, they will actually route it all the way through to the Origin website. Okay. And their, their goal, that their CEO tweeted a little while ago, he said, we would like to get 99% of the world's population within 10 milliseconds of a Cloudflare Edge node. And that's really powerful for us as, as developers as yeah. well, because it's like, what if I could serve 99% of my audience from a location within 10 milliseconds of them? Like, what does that do for things like performance? It's, Absolutely. it's massive. Yeah, well, well, we hear about this all the time, that something like, say, the Google Chrome, Google Chrome browser, is a browser that is you know, optimized for performance because that is the number one metric that people look at. If you have to wait three seconds for a website to load, you go, meh, it doesn't work, right? So I can see 10 milliseconds is nothing. Yeah, well, I mean, what's, what's probably most important there is, I mean, let, let's say you take all the static stuff on your page. This is an example. All of your images and your CSS and JavaScript mm -hmm. and everything. If all of that was cached here and it just came back immediately, like that does fundamentally positive things to oh, yeah. the performance of your site. Yeah. Absolutely. So I also know there is a thing called Cloudflare Workers, mm. um, and it's it's a little bit um, magic still. I think. Like, what do they actually do? So, in, in really simple terms, Cloudflare Workers is just code that runs on the edge. So, in each one of those 165 data centers, and what that means is is that when a request comes from from say us here mm -hmm. with say my phone, yep. goes to the Cloudflare Edge node, say in Sydney. I can manipulate that request. So I can change where it goes. I could send it to multiple different places and aggregate the response. Yep. I can add things to it. I can modify the body, the headers, anything like that. Send it onto the origin. The origin then replies, comes back, and I can do the same. So now I can modify anything on the origin. So a really good example is I could add things like uh, security headers to my response using a worker rather than having to actually modify the source website. Yeah, right. So maybe maybe you're running on WordPress or something like that and they don't let you, you're on like a hosted WordPress platform, you can't actually modify the code to add headers, but if it's mm -hmm. coming through Cloudflare, it's like, yeah, let's have a content security policy. We can drop that in with a worker. Yeah, no, it's really powerful. It's really cool stuff. So how do I get started with Cloudflare? Cloudflare.com. <laughs> so it's a, actually, you know, there's, there's a few, few different ways you can do it. I think the easiest way to do it, I did a website recently called uh, httpseasy.com. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to like drive people towards getting more HTTPS on things. So if you go to httpseasy.com, there are four videos of about five minutes each about how to sort of incrementally go through from having no HTTPS at all to getting it for free within five minutes, adding security headers, tightening it down with uh, HTTP strict transport security, things like that. So that, that's probably the easiest way to get started. Go and spend 20 minutes not watching this video, but watching my videos. <laughs> well, this one first. <laughs> Finish watching this one, then go do those. That's awesome. Well, thanks a lot, Troy. So Cloudflare workers, Cloudflare, Cloudflare.com. Go there now. Thanks, Absolutely. mate. Cheers. Cheers, mate. <laughs>